I'm Drew Stevenson, and this is a lecture for my administrative law class about the case Food Marketing Institute versus Argus Leader Media. This is actually a relatively new case from the US Supreme Court at the time I'm recording this. It's from 2019, and it's about one of the FOIA exemptions, FOIA exemption four about commercial info. Um, again, we don't get a lot of US Supreme Court cases that actually go interpret the substance of the FOIA statute or the exemptions. And remember, there's not an exemption, so we have to wait a while for a case about a particular exemption. And so this is um, the first case we've had in a long time uh, where the Supreme Court has defined uh, or given guidance on exemption uh, four. And in fact, they resolved a circuit split um, or uh, rejected something that the circuit courts were doing with interpreting this phrase confidential commercial info. So let's look at what we had have happened in this case, but I also want my students to remember that this is um, uh, new law. This is kind of the latest word at the time I'm recording from the Supreme Court about FOIA in general. So let's take a look. The case starts with a marketing company called Argus Leader Media, and they filed a FOIA request with the U.S. Department of Agriculture um, wanting the names and addresses of retail stores that participate in the National Food Stamp Program, or which is called SNAP, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. They, in fact, they wanted each store's annual SNAP redemption data from a five-year period between 2005 and 2010. And for my students, remember, I talked about this, this program in another video. Um, this is a cash assistance or part of our social safety net from the federal government for um, those living in poverty and families with infants and young children to help them get um, coupons or vouchers to buy groceries um, with. And so what Argus Media wanted to know was, where are the people who get food stamps shopping and which stores do have the um, highest percentage or of food stamp customers going to them because this would be kind of marketing data. Well, the Department of Agriculture refused this uh, FOIA request, at least for the store level SNAP data. And they invoked FOIA's exemption four, which shields from disclosure, trade secrets and commercial or financial information obtained from a person and privileged or confidential. So Argus Leader sued the USDA. Now, just as a refresher, I have another video about the exemptions themselves, but here's the text from 5 USC section 552B. This section does not apply to matters that are for trade secrets and commercial or financial information obtained from a person and privileged or confidential. Now, trade secrets is clear enough, at least for our purposes here, but there was a lot of uncertainty about what commercial information that's privileged or confidential is referring to. And the district court um, followed the circuit court uh, in, in precedent where it was and used something called the competitive harm test under which um, commercial information isn't deemed confidential for purposes of this FOIA exemption unless it's likely to cause substantial harm to the competitive interests or position of the person from whom the information was obtained. <clears throat> in other words, if, if it's harmless, there's no reason the government can't turn it over. And that's what the court ordered it here. They said, you have to disclose this because it's not clear that this would hurt the stores. <clears throat> well, at this point, a trade association of grocery stores intervened in the case, the Food Marketing Institute, who, um, whose name makes it into the caption of the case for our purposes. The Eighth Circuit um, affirmed this district court re and rejected the Institute's argument. They had a perfectly good test called the Substantial Competitive Harm Test. And the Institute, the Food Marketing Institute, wanted them to abandon that and just use the ordinary public meaning of the statutory term confidential. So then we end up at the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court reversed the Eighth Circuit and held that where commercial or financial information is both customarily and actually treated as private by its owner and is provided to the government under an assurance of privacy, the information is confidential within Exemption 4's meaning. So notice there's kind of two parts of this. Uh, is the entity that originated uh, originated the information, do they normally treat this and, and actually treat it as private and confidential, or do they disclose it to anybody who asks? And 
did the government in, uh, assure them that it would be kept private when they turned it over? So um, SNAP redemption data from individual grocery retailers was therefore confidential commercial information and was exempt from disclosure under FOIA. In other words, the USDA, which isn't listed as a party of the case by the time it gets to the Supreme Court, um, uh, wins. They don't have to turn over the information. But this had turned into, uh, at the Supreme Court, a case between the, the grocery stores and the marketing company that was trying to get this information out of the federal government. But that, by the way, illustrates something a little bit about how FOIA works, um, that sometimes they government has information about private parties and those parties don't want the government to turn it over to whoever's filed the FOIA request. So the court refused to adapt, adopt this substantial competitive harm test from the Eighth Circuit. I, and I believe other circuits were using it. Um, and, re and they relied on dictionary definitions of confidential from the time uh, of FOIA's enactment. Um, and also said that the legislative history didn't really give much guidance about what this means. So the stores um, customarily do not disclose store level SNAP data or make it publicly available, right? They treat this as confidential. They're not gonna talk about how many of their customers use food stamps when they're buying groceries. And to induce stores or to force them to participate in SNAP and provide this information, the government had promised the retailers for a long time that it would keep their information private. So here's a takeaway from this case. A FOIA exemption for confidential or privileged commercial and financial info that comes from a person applies um, if the info is both customarily and actually treated as private by its owner and provided to the government under an assurance of privacy. Okay, here's a review question to see if you've been paying attention. Does FOIA exemption four require that the agency show that dis the disclosure of the information would cause substantial competitive harm to the original party in order to refuse a FOIA request? A, yes, or B, no. If you're not sure about the answer, you weren't paying attention and you really should um, rewatch this video. And that concludes our lecture about <clears throat> this case for my this new Supreme Court case, well, 2019, um, about FOIA exemption four.